Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to do the full review for this Nokia Lumia 720 which runs on the Windows Phone 8 OS. I have already done the general overview of this phone and also the camera review and gaming review so you can check out those videos for more info and out of the box it runs Windows Phone 8 and uh, I'll give you a quick physical overview. On the top we'll find this 3.5mm headphone jack uh, and you can pop out this one and the SIM card goes in over here and on this end uh, you can pop in to add a micro SD card up to 64 GB. The internal storage is 8 gigs. Out of that you roughly get around uh, 4.5 GB or so. And on the back, here is the interesting part about this phone. It sports a 6.7 megapixel camera, but it's uh, called Zeiss Optics and we have a LED flash and the camera I have to say is incredible. It can take some very decent shots and even in low lighting conditions, it can take very good shots. So camera is a big plus point towards this phone and I have actually done a dedicated camera review for this phone. So you can check out this video uh, in which I uh, show you some of the sample shots that I've taken with this phone. Uh, moving towards the bottom we have the opening for the speaker grill and actually uh, the battery is sealed inside you cannot remove this uh, cover and the battery is a 2000 milliampere battery and moving towards the front we have the 4.3 inch screen and the resolution is 480 by 800 so it's not a uh, 720p screen or something like that but as you can see the screen quality that nokia has put in is very good the viewing angles are great it's IPS grade uh, display and it has that Nokia clear black coating. So even outdoors, if you keep the, what do you say, phone uh, at auto brightness, it was very legible. So uh, sunlight legibility is very good with this phone. Regarding the battery life, as I said, it has a 2000 milliampere battery. Uh, I could not get great battery life uh, by default, but after I started enabling this battery saver mode to on, I was easily getting a battery life of around one and a half days. So the battery life is great, but again, you have to enable the battery saver mode, I would say. And uh, also moving towards the front, we have a front facing camera uh, that can also shoot video up to 720p. Uh, the rear facing camera also can shoot video at a max of about 720p. Uh, it does not support uh, 1080p video recording. And the earpiece is also very nice. The voice call quality that I got with this phone was excellent. And uh, it is actually very loud. So some people have a problem with low voice volume, but that's not the case on this phone. The voice call quality is uh, very uh, high and even the ringtones are very loud. So no issues regarding that. As uh, you notice, it runs Windows Phone 8 OS. Uh, you can resize these are live tiles. So if you get any notification, etc., uh, it will change. For example, if you get a missed call, it will show here. And this is the default dialer. And this is the dialer. Uh, let me dial this number one to one. And let me put it on speaker. So as you can see, the speakerphone is also actually pretty uh, loud, no issues. Um, I actually use Gmail and here I have some issues with the phone. The problem is that uh, Google and Microsoft are having some kind of a tiff. Uh, I could sync my Gmail account with this one, but again, uh, uh, it was not uh, emails that I was getting were not instant. And there was a delay of around 10 or 15 minutes when I was uh, receiving the email. So a uh, push email uh, with Gmail does not work. So if you are heavily invested uh, with the Google platform, for example, apps like even G plus hangouts, etc., are simply not available on this phone. Uh, the default web browser that we get is Internet Explorer and it works well actually as you can see this is a text spot website it's a fairly heavy website and even pinch to zoom gesture works great let us open one of the stories and as you can see it does uh, load it fine you can also install third party web browser not a lot of choices are there like android but you have browsers like uc uh, browser in which you can use it to download stuff because because internet explorer that's the default browser has some limitations and let me show you the keyboard also this is the default keyboard that we get with this phone and uh, actually let's just go back also and let's go to our website that's techtobus.com
and as you can see it opened it uh, fairly quickly and we'll just open up this uh, lumia 720p overview story itself and we have a youtube video that's embedded on this web page so let's look at it how well it plays and let's play this video and it opens it in its own player as I said, the speakerphone is very loud and clear, so no issues. So yes, it does play uh, YouTube videos that are embedded in, within the web page, but it doesn't play inside the browser. It opens it uh, and externally and you can play. I also tested the front facing camera with Skype video calls and I had no issues with the same. It was very clear. Coming to the camera, uh, you have this dedicated button here. If you just depress that, the camera launches automatically and it's really easy you just need to tap to an area and it takes the photograph quickly as you can see it took it actually uh, you can check out my camera review in which i give an in-depth overview about the camera features but overall as i said the camera on this uh, lumia uh, 720 is a fantastic camera and uh, this lumia 720 uh, is currently selling in india for around uh, 16500 to 17000 and I would say it's a great uh, phone, uh, Windows phone, I would say. And it's much better than the Lumia 620 uh, and because the battery life on this is uh, very good. And again, as I said, the camera is fabulous. But again, the limitations of Windows phone still apply to this one. Namely, uh, the selection of apps is just a little bit limited. Uh, if you are coming from Android, uh, if you haven't used iOS or Android, then it might be okay because you are not exposed to that many apps. But the limitations of apps is a little bit uh, limited also in terms of gaming uh, this uh, phone could do fair a bit amount of gaming i actually made a dedicated video regarding aspel 7 with this one uh, i also was able to install temple run but again the selection of apps is not as wide as we find it on ios or the android platform so if you are a kind of a person who's a heavy gamer i would say uh, this uh, phone might not be an ideal for you because also coming to the hardware specs, though it supports a 1 GHz dual core processor, that's a, based on the Cryot architecture, it's a very fast processor. Nokia decided to put just 512 MB of RAM on this phone. So many of the uh, games that are on the Windows platform require 1 GB of RAM. So for gaming, I wouldn't recommend this phone. Also, if you're a power user, you won't like things like... Uh, file manager is simply missing on windows phone also regarding bluetooth and connectivity with some other phones like android and nfc support i did not have luck i couldn't transfer nfc files from my android phone to windows phone so some of these issues still persist with windows phone also if you listen to the music a lot it's a great phone because uh, you can attach high quality earphones to this and it does have dolby digital enhancements so I would say it's a very nice uh, Windows Phone 8 if you like Windows Phone 8 and if your budget is around 16, 17,000, I would say definitely have a serious look at this phone again. And if you are a photography buff and you like to take a lot of photographs, then uh, I would say at this price point around 17,000 or so, no other phone in the market can take photos as good as this Nokia 720 does. So overall, it's a great phone. But again, as I said, some limitations of Windows phone still applies because it's the platform. Namely, if you are an app junkie, then you might be disappointed. Also, uh, not a big uh, a plus for gamers because of just 512 MB of RAM, many of the games uh, will simply uh, not install on this one. So I hope uh, this video review helps. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.